Hi there everybody, Natasha here. Now if you like the videos I've been posting, please do subscribe to my channel. It would mean a lot to me. Please, please, please subscribe to my channel, please. I would love it. And make sure you turn on notifications so that you can get updated as soon as a video is posted. All right, so today's video is all about uh, something I think uh, people might find interesting because I read a statistic that 98% of pregnant women choose to find out the actual sex of their baby. We decided not to. And here are some of the pros and cons to that decision. I am now 29 weeks pregnant. So in only seven weeks, because I do have a C-section scheduled, in seven weeks, I'm going to find out whether we're having a little boy or a little girl. Some women report that even if they don't find out the gender of their baby, they actually have these vivid dreams where they can tell if they're having a boy or a girl. I haven't had anything like that. I had a month where I thought I was having a girl, then another month where I thought I was having a boy. I honestly have no clue. So it is going to be the biggest surprise when we actually get to the hospital. So the number one reason why I wanted to keep it a surprise, because let me tell you, my spouse didn't. He was like, let's find out. And he was just dying to find out. The number one reason is because I feel like there are too few surprises in life. These days, it seems like on Facebook, women are posting the gender of the baby. They do a gender reveal on Facebook. They post the name of the baby before the baby is even born. If that's what you want to do, no offense to you at all. I mean, it helps you plan better. But in my situation, I really wanted a surprise. You know, I want that magical moment that you see in the movies where the doctor, you know, the baby is born and the doctor holds up the baby like the Lion King and says, it's a boy or it's a girl. I really, really want that moment. And, you know, since it's my first baby and I really don't care either way, I thought it would be a really, really nice surprise. Now, this does not come without some challenges. First of all, I had to pick a name for a boy and pick a name for a girl because obviously I don't know which one's going to be born, so I have to have two names ready to go. Another really big challenge has been shopping. I mean, it's surprising how few gender neutral clothes are actually out there. Um, my mom and sister who have gone crazy just shopping for the baby, they are so excited. It's the first grandchild in the family. Um, they are having a really hard time. So my mom has basically purchased mostly white clothing because it's just really hard um, to find. <laughs> So when I told my doctor that I wanted to have a secret gender, the first thing she told me was, well, she was really excited at first. She's like, oh, nobody does that. That's so cool. And then she said, you got to be really careful when you come for your appointments. So every time I, I go for my appointment, she actually says what you need to do is you need to tell whoever you see. And that goes from the receptionist to the nurse to the, the lady that does the sonogram that you need to clearly say secret gender before they do anything because they're so used to actually revealing the gender and just talking about the baby in a he or she context that you need to make sure you say it every time. So that's added an extra level of kind of, you know, fear like, oh no, please don't tell me the gender. So every time I go, I have to say secret gender. Also, I can't look at my charts online. You know, everything's online these days and all my test results and things like that will pop up in my email. But she told me, don't go to your test results because it's clearly written there whether it's gonna be a boy or a girl. To be honest, most of my friends think I'm completely crazy and a lot of them think I'm actually, that I know the gender and I'm just not telling them. That I can 100% tell you that is not the truth at all. We have no idea and we're going to be surprised in seven weeks. I really can't wait. But hopefully this video, you know, made it a little easier for you if you're actually thinking about possibly having a secret gender. In my mind, it's going to be completely worth it. I cannot wait for that moment of surprise. And again, in life these days, I feel like there's so few surprises that if you can leave the gender of your baby 
a surprise and you have the willpower to do it for nine months, I say hats off to you.